Welcome to Ring Theory. In this video, I would like to explore the possibility of there being female orcs, orc children, and orc families in the Lord of the Rings universe. This is a prominent and much debated topic in the Lord of the Rings fandom, as no female or child orc characters are depicted in any of Tolkien's writings or in any of his storylines. What doesn't help in terms of clarifying the issue is that Tolkien himself seemed to be unsure or changed his mind about the origin stories of the orcs. If we look specifically at his published works though, there is some clear evidence to suggest that there are orc families in Middle-earth. In the Silmarillion, Tolkien describes the origin of the orcs as elves corrupted by Melkor, the first Dark Lord. All those of the Quendi who came into the hands of Melkor were put there in prison, and by slow arts of cruelty were corrupted and enslaved. And thus did Melkor breed the hideous race of the orcs, in envy and mockery of the elves, of whom they were afterwards the bitterest of foes. For the orcs had life and multiplied after the manner of the children of Iluvatar. Firstly, as a separate point about the TV show, The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, by describing the elves to be put in prison and by slow arts of cruelty, corrupted and enslaved, this opens up the possibility of some elf-like first generation orcs before the several generations turn them into the orcs we know and recognise today. Could the character Adar in the show be one of these first generation orc slash elves? Is that perhaps why they call him Adar, as in father, as though he is the father of all orcs? Going back to the source material and the question at hand, the quote, they multiplied after the children of Iluvatar, is clearly saying that they procreate like elves and men. As somewhat unsettling as this may be, it does seemingly confirm the existence of female orcs and therefore children. Tolkien also describes that deep in their dark hearts the orcs loathed the master that they served and feared. Reading this, it does give me an element of sympathy for the orcs as they obviously have a tortured life. However, by also describing their dark hearts, it stops me short of saying that they're entirely capable to be good. As additional evidence, Azog, a prominent orc in The Hobbit, is described to have a son called Bold. So that in itself is evidence that orcs can procreate. If they procreate like men and elves, it serves to rightly assume that they have children and also care for those children. This is an interesting thought. We often view orcs as wholly dark or evil creatures, but in them is the capacity to idolise their fathers and we would assume care and protect their young. Although it seems clear that there are female orcs, orc children and by extension almost certainly traditional like orc families, it does lead to more questions. Do orcs fall in love? Do they have households where they have orc chores like doing the washing up? We know both orcs or goblins sing songs and do chants in the book. Does that mean that orc mothers might sing orc lullabies to their children? Despite the law being clear that orc families are more than possible, actually likely, I would find it to be somewhat against the spirit of Tolkien if we were to see anything like an orc love story on screen. I could take an orc not being entirely evil, maybe give a second thought to some violence, or even secretly work against Sauron for self-interest, but the idea of the current show, or any future show, representing an orc as an entirely sympathetic character makes me extremely uncomfortable and I would struggle to watch that show if it existed. In summary, the answer to the question of are there any orc families in the Lord of the Rings is yes, almost certainly. But no matter how much evidence there is in the source material, much like Tolkien, I feel like these things are better kept off page and off screen. What do you think? Thanks for watching Ring Theory. On this channel I'll be focusing on anything and everything to do with The Lord of the Rings, Tolkien lore from the books, the original trilogy and the new TV show. If you like the video and want to hear more, please drop me a like and hit the subscribe button.